Here's the setup that I'm going to use. I've got my analog meter set to DC volts and I've got it centered on zero so we can see the voltage swings positive and negative. And here's the coil and magnet and that's a very very strong magnet and I put a tape on one side of the magnet so I can tell which side I'm using. Here's a closer look at that magnet. That magnet is so strong that you'll notice the background video move when I move that magnet and that camera is a little over two feet away. This first video demo is going to demo the left hand rule for generators. In other words, what happens when we move a magnetic field through a coil of wire. Okay, here we have a coil of wire, a magnet, and I have taped one side of the magnet so we can tell that I have switched sides and it's hooked up to a voltmeter. If we take this magnet and move it across the coil, we'll see that when I move it up, it moves to the right, and when I pull it back, it moves to the left. Okay, now I'm going to turn this over, and when I move it up, now it moves to the left. And when I move it back, it moves to the right, just the opposite of before. Now we'll go back to the original. Also, notice when I move it, it creates a voltage and current in the wire, but only when the magnetic field or the magnet is moving. So only when the magnetic field is cutting across the coils do we have any electron flow. This is the left hand rule for generators. And if we have a north pole here, the index finger will point in the direction of the magnetic flux. And if we move that wire in this direction, the wire being the center finger, what will happen is the electrons will move in this direction from negative to positive. This next video is a simple demonstration of the right hand rule for motors. Okay, now we have a battery or coil in our magnet and I'm going to set the magnet up against the coil like this 
and we're going to hook up the battery to this coil and it moves Put that back This is the right-hand rule for motors. If we have a north pole here, the index finger is pointing in the direction of the magnetic flux. And this time, if we put a current in the wire from negative to positive, in this direction, it will cause that wire to be pushed in this direction. This is a power transformer and I've got the voltmeter hooked up to the primary of this transformer and when I move the magnet around the transformer, we'll see that it does generate electricity. Okay, now I've hooked the transformer up to the meter. And now when I move that... Oops. magnetic field close to that transformer we get quite a bit of response in that meter but again only when the magnetic field is moving and cutting across the coils. The left hand rule for generators and the right hand rule for motors are very useful and I hope this video help you understand both rules and thanks for watching.